important steps for problems like this is when you read it, you want to make sure you gather all the information. I know it's, it sounds obvious, but you want to read it slowly, one sentence at a time, and make sure you gather all the information you can from each single sentence. So a couple of things that I've done here is I've defined two variables that I'm going to be using. M, I'm going to be making the dollar, dollar amount per hour for the math lessons, and S, I'm making the dollar amount per hour for the science lesson. So let's check out the first, or I guess the second sentence. It's saying for science lessons, Jason charges four more bucks per hour than he does for the math lessons. So think about that for a second. That's saying Jason charges more for science than he does for math. So think about how you can set up an equation for that. And that would be S equals M plus four. Because whatever the science lessons are, so let's say the math lessons, for example, are 10 bucks. Doesn't that imply that he's gonna be charging 14 bucks for the science? And that's how I'm kind of forming this equation. S equals M plus four. Now let's check out the next sentence. It's saying Jason tutored three hours of math so he tells us three hours of math and uh, five hours of science. So that's 5S. And that tells me that he makes $92. Now, finally, the question is saying, how much does Jason charge for math lessons? Now, let me rewrite this over here so it's a bit clearer. S equals M plus 4 and 3M plus 5S equals 92. And if this rings a bell from algebra classes, this now is a system of equations. And system of equations, there's really two best ways to solve them. One is elimination, and the second is substitution. And in this one looks like substitution might be easier because it tells me S equals M plus 4, right? So instead of that S, I'll replace that with M plus 4. So let's check this out. So it'll be 3M plus 5 times M plus 4 equals 92. Because what I've done is I've replaced the M plus 4 or replace that S, sorry, with the M plus four. Now let's solve for the M. And remember, math is a dollars per hour for the math, and that's what the question is saying. How much does Jason charge hourly for math lessons? So this will be three M plus distribute your five all over the place equals 92. Um, did I myself somewhere? I did, I did five times three, I don't know why. That should be three M plus five M, right? Five times M and five times four. Now 3m plus 5m is 8m, 8m plus 20 equals 92, subtract 20 on both sides, 8m will equal 92 minus 20 is 90, 72, right, yes, yeah, 72, and then divide both sides by 8, and m will give you uh, 8 times 9, so m will be 9. Uh, 72 divided by 8 is 9, so m equals 9, and that's how much, remember, my variable m was a dollars per hour for math, so I know the answer over here has to be $9, or 9.